What's going on everybody? Zach again here at Street Rat Collectibles in the Rat's Nest. Doing some more work in here. The last time I brought you a video, I was talking about packaging. How it was super important, how to get you some great reviews, and how people help you with repeat business and people want to come back to you. Uh, another facet of that is when you're advertising your items and things, uh, you want to take lots of great pictures, of course. You want people to know exactly what they're buying, uh, the condition that it's in, just so it makes it a little bit easier on a purchase. Uh, and that way you might not get so much as negotiations on things because you've disclosed everything and you're not trying to hide anything, not like you would anyway. But I'm going to show you how I take pictures for all my uh, posts and things of that nature. So, And then i got several different items up here because each thing is going to have its own way of taking the picture and how many that you want. Uh, so I'll start over here with the big apocalypse figure let me show you break down how i do that so obviously you want to get a nice good shot of the entire thing right here right because you want to be able to see what you're looking at you want to zoom in on here you want to kind of show everybody what the colors are you know that kind of thing sometimes they can be discolored from thing to thing but for the most part they're all pretty streamlined sometimes their hands are different things of that nature because if you post one thing uh but you have multiple if you, they don't get the one that's listed sometimes people can get a little upset by that they think maybe this was discolored or something of that nature but to truth be told you know sometimes my camera may show darker i have lower light something of that something like that so it looks a little richer looks a little deeper uh, so, but you want to get, like I said, you want to get a nice full picture of the front. You want to get a nice clear picture of the plastic here. You want to kind of get a nice side shot so you see there's no damage to the side or to the board itself, right? You also want to do one on the other side to do the same. Obviously, you want to do the back so they can see what it looks like back here. Sometimes people like to verify barcodes, which is perfectly fine too. They want to do that. And then I'll probably do one flat like this. So then I can get a nice uh, shot here to see if there's any beveling or any kind of, uh, you know, got hot, got warped or something like that. So, and then sometimes I'll take a picture of the bottom. But if there is any kind of damage on it, you want to disclose it right away because the last thing you want to do is have someone unhappy. You know, they spent money with you. You want to make them, make them uh, satisfied with that. So kind of do the same thing with like my Magneto here, do the exact same thing. Nice big picture up close on the figure itself so you can really see what it looks like, right? This board, I love this board. I do the same here. You can tell there's no bends or breaks. Same on that side. I like to disclose that it's unpunched so it has not been hung up on a peg. That how you, that's how you know it was brand new. And then the back, do that again for the barcode purposes. The boards look great. I love these classic looking boards. See, and there's kind of a little bit of a bend right there. It's not a big deal, but not to you or I, and it really isn't, but, you know, you can flatten that out by putting something else on top of it and getting it nice and neat. Okay, so for a figure like Darth Vader here, the white Darth Vader, again, picture of the box, right? People like to see the box. This one's got all kinds of different things on it. You could take it this way. You could take it this way. That way they can kind of see the lines and see there's no edging. Things of like that. And sometimes they get a little warped in shipping. You can see this one's kind of got a little bit of a bend in it right there. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. Uh, classic scenes here from the movies. Got the back. Top. Bottom. Like I said, barcode's important. And then you want to open it up. Obviously, that's a cool figure right there, is it not, guys? You got glare on it from the little light. But get a good picture of that. And then get a good picture of the inside of the box too. That way people can get a complete picture of what they're looking at. All right. Fig pins. Pretty easy. Obviously you want the whole thing. But then you want to zoom in on the actual guy. You want to zoom in on Levi. And you can see that he looks good. Kind of want to tilt it to the side. Make sure there's no bends or breaks in the pins. In the back. Same there. Cool little card on the back. What I love about the cards is... Like if you were displaying it, instead of having Attack on Titan, flip it around and have this. So sometimes you can show that as a added benefit of it for display purposes. And then you want to take a picture of the bottom because, like I said, people like to know the barcodes and see that. 
All right, now Funkos are different too. Because this one does have a little bit of damage, so I'm glad we have this. So obviously you're going to take a picture of the whole thing, right? Whole thing, out wide. But then we're going to make sure we include, so it says Diamond Collection. That's why Stitch is all glittered up. And then it was an Entertainment Earth exclusive. Or if it was a New York Comic Con exclusive, San Diego Comic Con exclusive, Hot Topic, Spirit Halloween, uh, Walmart, whatever it may be, Target, Walgreens. Whatever it may be, that way people can know this is an exclusive thing. Uh, I'm going to get a picture of the top, the sides, the back, the other side. Now see here, this one's got some damage in it. This came in to me shipped like this, so I don't know if you can quite see right there on the side. See how that's damaged? That's something you got to disclose. you got to let people know that it's a little damaged, but that the collectible itself is perfectly fine. Uh... Super, something very important with Funkos is taking a picture of the bottom because this is a great way to tell if a Funko is a fake. Certain things on the bottom will allow you to do that, whether the way it's lettered, where it came from, country of origin, those types of things. So people look for that to see where it came from. But for this purpose, of course, this one came right where it should be. You would disclose the damage that's on it too. Same thing for this guy. This one's got no damage on it. But you want to, like I said, zoom in and get a whole nice big picture of it. Zoom in. Glows in the dark. Entertainment Earth exclusive. All the sides. Right? And then, of course, you want to do the bottom. See how that one matches the other one I talked about? And then, of course, this side, too. That's a cool figure. Fit guy. I just got him in. Now, U2s are also different. Because they mostly come with what's called a slip sleeve. They're going to come in this nice plastic box. Hopefully that doesn't reflect too bad with the light. But they're also going to have a slip cover. So you want to gently get that guy out of there, right? So, of course, display it. You know, take pictures so people can see all the size. Because there's cool art on it. Hunter x Hunter. The map. But then you want to pull the guy out. Pull him out. You want to pull Dong out here. Sometimes they stick just a tad. And there again, front. Make sure you see him really nice and good. All right, kind of want to do a side shot. They always have these cool little sayings right, from the show or from wherever the series is. Of the back, they have something there. Nice picture on the side. And then they'll always have something a little bit, another saying or something. Kind of did that there. You can see it there. So you can take pictures of all this stuff and then you say, hey, you know, look, small little tear at the top, but nothing that's going to affect any kind of value really of it or that. And of course, the bottom too, you want to see that. Again, want to make sure that it is authentic. So, all right. So that's, that's how I go through my process and take pictures. I want people to have a lot of information about what they're buying. Disclosure is very very important, especially to collectibles. Maybe not so much <clears throat> important to someone just buying as a gift, although you don't want to buy something that's been beat up. But you want to let people know what they're getting. And it's just very important to do that. But And disclosing it through your pictures, again, can lead to them coming back to you again, a referral, somebody seeing something they like, that kind of thing. So you just want to be mindful of this because... Like I said, once you ship it out, and it's no longer yours. So you don't want to misrepresent yourself or the product that you have either. So uh, that'll do it for this one. The next time we meet here, uh, I think we're going to do a video on uh, communication and how to follow up and how to do things through either an app like Macari, uh, correspondence through eBay, Facebook, Instagram, all those different types of things. So... Uh, until next time, we'll see you guys later.